Hey, hey, hey. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Just trying to get my housekeeping done here. How are you guys doing? Say hi as you come in. Anybody there? Hey, Dora, how are you? Oh, boy, it's a Monday again. Hey, Mary Ellen, how are you? I'm trying to find me over here to make sure that I can see everyone. Hello, hello, hello. All right, come on. Hey, 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 here we go. Okay, make sure that's turned all the way down. Okay. Hi guys, how's it going? Hello, hello, hello. Alright, whoops. Let me turn this one down. Okay. Hopefully it's turned all the way down. Alright, so we're going to be making a wreath with this sign. Hello, well welcome. How are you? Um, I have four of these left. So if anybody is interested, I have them in my Etsy shop. So let me know I have that. Um, so we are good to go. All right. Now, because this is, hello, um, please remember to like, follow, and share, share, share. Because this is a little bit smaller of a sign, I'm going to make, hey Jerry Lynn, a little bit smaller of a wreath. Mine is going off, I apologize. Hold on, hold on, oops. I don't know why, there we go, okay. Sorry, okay, now it's needed. All right, um, I'm going to, instead of using a 14 inch wreath frame, I dropped it down to a 12 inch wreath frame, okay, so that the wreath um, doesn't like overpower the um, sign. Okay, so you can see when you drop it down, it's going to fit nicely on the wreath. Okay, so that's what I decided to do. If you want to put it on a 12 inch or a 14 inch, that's fine. You can still do that. So you are more than welcome. Hey, Shorty, how are you? So we're going to use this sign. And what I did for the um, hey Kathy. For the um, fort, for the 12 inch frame, I do it a little differently. I put the um, I put the pipe cleaners on the cross frames here, on the outer row, and then I put them in the middle between right here. Okay, yeah, I have four of these signs left. If anybody wants any, they're in my shop. Um, they're 750 plus shipping. <clears throat> Thanks, Shorty. I have my drink right here. I just took one. Okay, and following with the black and the white on the sign, I'm going to be using this black and white um, snow mesh. Hey, Betty. And then I have, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me zoom you in a little bit. I have, there's some leaves and some pumpkins on here. So I'm going to be using, um, the ribbon has leaves and pumpkins and then I have some leaves we're going to be adding and then some small little pumpkins here so um, I wanted to kind of tie everything together so I'm going to keep you guys zoomed in and let me know if um, you have any problems with that okay so I cut my mesh to 30 inches and this is towards the end so it's really wound up tight there out of the way. Kathy! Alright, so I'm going to start here and I'm just going to do the ruffle method and I'm going to stay down the middle. Now this has the lines with the snow mesh. Oh, awesome, Dora! So you want to try to stay in the middle so that your ruffles are even. Hey Deb, how you doing? And then just move on down the center. 
Um, no, this one I bought, the 12 inches, they don't sell at the dollar store. So I think, I don't remember, I, I might have got it at Craft Outlet or something like that. They usually sell just the um, 14 inch. I think I've seen 10 inches every once in a while, but um, this did not come from the dollar store. Oh, you will eventually, Kathy. All right, so. So you see how the black and white on the sign, I'm pulling in the black and white with the mesh. All right, so we're just gonna keep going with that. And I'm just gonna keep ruffling. Hey Doris, how are you? So did you guys do anything fun this weekend? Hey Brenda, we went to my daughter's yesterday. We um, celebrated Father's Day yesterday and also um, my daughter will be 35 tomorrow and my oldest grandson will be 10 tomorrow. Hey Joanne, how are you? So we celebrated their birthdays and Father's Day yesterday. Okay, you find them at Walmart? I don't think I've ever seen 12 inches at Walmart. Oh, a dollar. Maybe that's where I got them. I think that is where I got them, Pat. Thank you. I think that is where I got them. Hey, Dora. Yeah. Now, the, the mesh, I think I got this mesh at Joann's. Oh, I'm sorry, Deb. Yeah, I know, right? It is hard when you lose someone. Hi, Diane. So I cut these, like I said, to 30 inches, and we're just going to do the ruffle method. Oh, yay, Kathy! I'm so excited! Yay! So let me see. The 14th, what day is you're leaving the 14th? Oh, what day is that? Is the 14th the, the Sunday? Oh, my ruffle came apart. I tried to do the wreath you did with the 21 inch mesh, five roll on top of the same on the other fucking mesh. Was bit. Oh no, Luann! Why was it bad? Sorry it didn't turn out. I lost my ruffles there. <laughs> I lost my ruffles. Yay. Kathy, I'm so glad I'm going to get to see ya. Okay. Yeah, we cooked dinner on Saturday. Is Saturday the 13th? Yes, yeah, Saturday is the 13th. We, we cooked dinner for the whole family on Saturday night. So we'll have my whole family over Saturday night. Um, like for dinner. Like, I don't even know how many that is. Like my sister, her husband, and her daughter. Her other, her son and daughter-in-law. Okay, and then, um, oh, happy birthday to your son! And then my daughter, her husband. It's, it's a lot of us. It's a lot of us. So hopefully we'll we can get together like after everyone leaves or something. Yeah, that's a crazy day because everyone's just getting in. I cooked dinner that night. It's a little crazy, cray cray that day. That's like the craziest day we get there. Yeah, yeah. We'll um. I'll have to see Kathy. Oh my goodness. Because Friday night we just we get there Friday night, and usually um, it's you know we're exhausted. We usually like go out to dinner and then kind of pass out. Thank you. You couldn't get the middle poof right. Hmm. Well, 
Well, Kathy, either you'll have to come over and meet everyone, or after dinner, I'll come to you. Whichever works best. I don't care. Yeah, I like this mesh. I like the, um, the snowball mesh. Oh, that's awesome, Pat. Good for you. How did I cut it? I use my rotary cutter. Um, this is a um, self-healing mat. And then I have my rotary cutter that I cut with. Hey, Robin. Hey, Dixie, how are you? Yeah, definitely. Um, the rotary cutter is, it's just like this. It's a blade. And then um, this is a self-healing mat. You don't want to use this knot on a self-healing mat. And then you just cut it like that. I know, Pat, that's exciting. Oops. It's all caught up in there. All right. So that's the bottom row done. And now we will move to the top row. Hey, t -shell, how are you? Yes, the um, craft outlet should have snowball mesh. And it usually it comes in a lot of different colors. There's black, there's white, there's red, there's purple, there's pink, there's green. It comes in all different colors. I really like the snowball mesh. And you want to try to keep it, when you're doing your ruffles, you want to try and keep it down the middle. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Sherry. I cut it these 30 inches. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, these I cut 30 inches. Yep, these were cut to 30 inches long. Okay. All right. All right, find my next piece. They're out of it? Oh, boy. I think they're, I know they're in the process of moving. So maybe once they get moved, they will, um... they'll get some stuff. That's what you can... <laughs> Kathy, that's what you can do. Go to Sims for me and look and see if they have snowball mesh. Before you come down. <laughs> I love snowball mesh. I would get a case of it. Of every color. Especially in the white. I love the white snowball mesh. Yes, they are. They're in the process of moving everything to a new warehouse. So, um... They're probably, you know, they were probably like, you know, trying not to. I, I'm the same way, Diane. I love fabric mesh also. Yeah, I think because a lot of people buy a lot of stuff from there. But you can always try Deco Exchange, Trendy Tree. Um, the Wreath Shop. I know, I'm telling you. So, Kathy, if you have a chance to go to Sims before you come down, we'll talk. I've got, I've got to call you, girl. i got to call you. I know, I love snowball mesh. They're out, too? Oh, boy. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Oh, you did? You just ordered from some, from the wreath shop? Oh, you guys, and USPS shipping is all going up on stuff. They have changed the way they price out their boxes, so if you order stuff and they're shipping at USPS, it's all going up. So, I know everyone in the wreathing community is trying to figure out a way to, um, you know, ship their wreaths, you know, a different way. So, if you order stuff through people on, um, on Etsy and it's showing really high shipping rates, just contact the um, owner of the Etsy shop and talk to them because more than likely they're trying to work out a way to, um, 
you know, ship it a cheaper way. So don't, you know, like I said, if you're try if you're trying to, you know, order a read from someone, don't freak out because everyone's trying to work through and open up FedEx accounts and all that kind of stuff. Yes, I already opened up account. When do you know when to pull the curl? I always put my curl side down. I know, right, Kathy? Yeah, they're trying to keep up. Hey, Nicole, how are you? I know, Kathy. I think I'm just going to have you go to um, Sims for me before you come down so my husband can take my stash, <laughs> my stash home. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know how I get home. It is so expensive, Diane. I know. I know. It's ridiculous. It really is. That's why everyone right now in the wreathing community is like freaking out because USPS used to be the um, ship the cheapest way to ship, and now they went to um, a different ship. How how they charge for shipping? They're shipping by dimensional weight, and everyone is just freaking out. But don't panic. It will be fine. Um, that's what I heard, Terry. That's what someone said. But it'll it'll all work out. So don't you know? Don't freak out. So like I said, if you if you're trying to buy a wreath from someone and the shipping is like astronomical, just contact the shop owner. Because trust me, yes, this is a fall wreath. Yep. Tell Jim I said hi, Kathy. Don't forget to spread the love for me, everyone. All right, one more to go here if I can find it. it kind of gets lost in the process. All right, last one. <laughs> I love the black and the white together. I really do. Okay. All right. So, we have the base done. <laughs> okay. All right. So, this is our base. Okay. All right. Now, so this is the sign that we're going to use. So, see... I scaled back the size of the wreath because the sign is a little smaller, okay? So I normally would use a 14 inch base, but this is a 12 inch base, all right? So that's why I scaled it back a little bit, all right? Now because the sign, how many, I did 12, there's 12 on here, yep. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, if you can see, there are... Um, Leaves and pumpkins. There's a leaf and a pumpkin. You did? Way to go, <laughs> Kathy. So there's leaves and a pumpkin. So what I'm going to do is, let me turn my, turn my, thing off. okay, so I'm just going to use, I haven't used the new ones. I'm going to put, this is, if you can see my ribbons, it's just um, the leaf ribbon and the um, pumpkin ribbon. The mesh I cut to 30 inches, okay? And I cut this, normally I cut my tails at 12 inches, but I only cut these at 10. Again, I'm scaling down a little bit because I'm not using the um, bigger wreath. So I'm just going to scale down just a little bit, okay? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ribbon in each of the ties. And then what I'm going to do, I have these leaves. Okay. And I have the pumpkins. So what I'm going to do... At least what I'm thinking of doing, and we'll see if it 
actually looks the way I was envisioning it in my head. Oh, no problem, Debbie. So, I have these pumpkins, right? Remember, we used these the other night. I know, right? Okay. So what I was thinking was taking the leaves, okay, and just putting them on to, oh, no problem. Okay, so I was thinking of putting this, the leaf, right on to the pipe cleaner, okay? Just like that. And maybe we'll do two of them. I know that is true. Let's see if we have enough. Okay. So I'm going to put two on and see how that looks. Okay. Isn't that cute? And then, oops, here we go. And then cut this down just a little bit. Thanks, Diane. Oh, you did? Cool. And then where is my, okay. And then I'm going to take my, um, what's this called? Can't remember. Put a little hole in it. You don't want to go all the way through the pumpkin. Ice pick. Okay. And you're going to put a little glue in there. Okay. And then I'm going to sit my pumpkin right on the pipe cleaner, right in the middle of the leaves. Isn't that pretty? Can you guys see that? You zoom me in a little bit. What do you think? Ice pick, yes, thank you. I'm going to cut that one off. Okay. Hey, Teresa. Okay, what do you think? And then when we get the sign on, isn't that pretty? Let me zoom it out a little bit so you can see the sign. Okay, so something a little different with the leaves and the pumpkins. You know, just thought it would add another, you know, another um, dimension in there to it. Okay. Hey, Barbara. Okay, so again, let's recap. I cut the mesh at 30 inches. I used a 12 inch frame. I know, right? It really makes everything pop against the black. Okay, so we made that um, 30 inches. Then we're going, I hope I have enough of these. Hopefully I will. Okay, and we're going to twist that on real good. We're going to cut the one off completely. And we're going to take this and we're going to slide it right down the stem of that pipe cleaner. Take the other one, face it the other way. Okay, get another pumpkin. Oh, where'd my ice pick go? Put a little hole in it. Dab some glue in there. in there. Okay, there you go. All right. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to do that all the way around. I'm doing every tie, yep. Because it's a 12 inch frame, um, there's only six ties on the top and six ties on the bottom. So, like I said, so what I'm doing is I'm just putting the ribbon in. I cut the ribbon to 10 inches instead of 12. Okay, because we're scaling everything down a little bit because the sign's a little smaller. Okay, I didn't want the sign to like look like it was so teeny tiny in there. Okay, so I'm going to cut one of these off all the way down because we only need one of them. Hey, Melanie, no problem. 
Okay, we're gonna take two. Oops, we're gonna cut, we're gonna leave some on one of them, right? We're gonna slide this right over the pipe cleaner and right on down. We're gonna take the other one, face it the other way. Get that on there. There's a hole there. Okay. So it creates like a little, you know, like a little hole there for it. Um, this mesh came from Joanne's last year. Okay, take one of my pumpkins, put a little hole in it without hurting yourself. Good amount of glue there. Right, and put it right on top of there. Okay. And I love the way it's just sitting in the, you know, sitting right there in the little like leaves. I think it's cute. Yeah, this mesh came from um, Joann's last year. So we're just going to do that for the rest of the ones on the bottom and then the rest of the ones on the top. So hopefully, 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 let's have enough of these. Maybe. Whew. I don't think I have another one of those bushes, so hopefully... <laughs> Jonathan, how are you, buddy? How's it been? Oh. <laughs> well, you can always get them, Kathy. All right. So, again, we're going to take that. Those leaves and pop them right on top of that. Um, well, this, I, it, it took the whole roll. It just took one roll. Okay. The last piece was a little short, but not much. So, you'll never notice that. Cut that a little shorter. And these pumpkins are all different sizes, but it doesn't really matter. You can use different size pumpkins. You can use different color pumpkins if you want. Oh no, Kathy, I wish I did, but I have not. And you want to get that right in there. And then move your ribbons there. Oh, hopefully I have enough of those leaves. Oh, you have been? All right. I know, I just really like the idea of the leaves here. Hopefully I have enough. Oh boy. I thought I would have plenty. I did, I did, I did. And you want to cut that one pipe cleaner all the way down, but the other one you want to leave a little bit of a stem so that you can put the leaves on there. Okay, so the one you can cut all the way down and then the other you want to leave a little bit so you can get those leaves on there. Whoop. Okay, and grab another pumpkin. Oh, 80 degrees, nice. Although, I don't know, all these shark sightings down there is kind of freaking me out, to be honest. Um, it is, um, it is, um, snow mesh. 
has a little bit of like you know the white flecking through it hey Gail how are you when I do the 14 inch frame I put 18 ties but I only fake news <laughs> Um, I only use 12 when I do, I use all 18 for my ribbon tails, but I don't, um, I don't put, I, I'm sorry, I put mesh in all of them, but I only use 12 for my ribbon tails. I don't put, um, ribbon in all of 18 of them. Thank you. If you guys could spread the love for me, I would appreciate it very much. All right, so hope, hope, hope. I don't know. I don't know. I have enough of these. Let me see. One. Yeah, snow drift snow. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough to. Well, maybe the sign will cover some because I don't think I have another one of those that um, exact leaf. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Oh, well. Oh, well. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll just go with it. Okay. We will do all of them around the bottom and maybe every other one on the top. We're going to go with it. We'll work it out. All right, now, and then on the bottom, too, we'll have to use some of the other colored pumpkins. I know I love fall and Christmas colors and yeah I think I might have to I might have to okay all right so that's the bottom row what do you guys think isn't that pretty I really like it it's really pretty all right now either that or let's see what's some other leaves somewhere bigger sparkly leaves but i can't find them right now of course when i'm looking for them oh wait here they are Let's see. Let's see if these work or not. Let's see. Mm, no, I don't like those as much. I don't like those as much. Let's try adding. We'll add some of these in there. We'll see. Yes, come help me. Come help me. Come help me. On the top, we'll add some of these colors. We're just going to mix it up. We'll mix it up, people. Now, what I like about making my own wreath frames, too, is when you use the ones that are pre-made, sometimes the, um, the pipe cleaners or, you know, the, the things that are already on here aren't, like, exactly spread out, you know, the right way. And this, 
they're right in the middle. Like there's these two. Not yet. It's not opening up to like the end of July. Mm. I know, right? Maybe what I'll do is I'll put one of these and then one of those. Let's see how we like that. Let's see how we like that. Okay. So I'm going to put one of these and see how I like it. One of the bigger ones. No, yeah, that's not opening up for a while. And then one of these, see if we like it. Okay. It's a date. Okay, there we go. Oh, I like that. Yeah, because then we still have some of that in there. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. And let's put one of these in there. It's like I planned it. Yes, I am. Are you going to be there, Gail? I'm so excited. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I'm super duper excited. Okay. Let's get our ribbons out there so you can see them. Yeah, I like it. Look at that. I like it with the bigger leaves. Yeah. Look at that. It's like we planned it all along. Yeah, this is my first time. I didn't go last year. So I'm really, really excited. Okay, next one is right here. I'm really excited about going. There's my sister. Hey, Pat. Okay, so there's the first one. And we'll get one of these. Lava glue there going so it doesn't come out. And you want to put it right on that pipe cleaner and make sure it goes down into there. Okay? So it's sitting really nice in there. Look at that. Look at that. Hey Amelia, how are you? I know, and on the black and white mesh, it really makes all the colors pop. Oh, I'll show you, Laureen. It's really easy. Really, really easy. Yes, they are. <laughs> what are they making on the Food Network? Anything good? Thank you. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the leaves. The leaves have a little hole. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. Casey, the leaves have a little hole in them. Okay, can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. All right, they have a little hole there. So all I'm doing is I'm taking that hole and I am putting it right into the pipe cleaner, okay? Putting it right down in there. And I'm taking the next one and putting that right into it, just like that. Pushing it right down into there. Okay, then get your ribbons where you want them. Okay, and then I'm going to take a pumpkin. And my little pumpkin's here. And I'm taking the ice pick and putting a nice hole in there. Be careful you don't go all the way through. Alright, and uh, I am putting a generous amount of glue on there. And then I'm taking that pumpkin and I'm putting it right onto 
that pipe cleaner so that it goes right into the hole I just made. And that's going to help your ribbons stay where you want them, your leaves stay where you want them, okay, just like that. Thank you. We have two more to go here. I think two or three, two. Two more after this one. All right. We are moving right along. No problem. Just rolling all around here. Okay. So we just take one of those pipe cleaners and cut it off all the way down, and we leave a little stem on the other one so that we can feed the leaves through. If it cooperates, there we go. Hey, Sue! Okay, I'm going to take one of the sparkly leaves and put that on. Okay. Okay, let me get one of our pumpkins. Where's my ice pick? Nope, this was the ruffle method, Pat. No, they didn't. I think they're just like doing the sales on all of their summer stuff to try to get rid of all their summer stuff yet. Okay, and then we want to get that. There we go. Get our little pumpkin all nestled in there. You're slacking, Pat. You're slacking. <laughs> Pat is my sister, and she lives down in North Carolina. I'm going to be with her for a couple days before I head down to Wreath Makers Live. So we're going to be doing a live, and Pat's going to learn how to make a wreath or something when I'm down there. Right, Pat? She's going to be doing something. All right, so we're going to take one of the leaves here and put it on that pipe cleaner. Oh, wow. I, You know what, Debbie? I was there, um, and they didn't have hardly any Christmas method mesh at Mayan. I think they had, like, maybe one or two rolls. So, boy, but if you can find it at that price, snatch it up, girl. flower out of ribbon. Oh, I've done that before. Have you not seen that one? I've done those a bunch of times, if you say so. <laughs> yeah, Pat. Okay, put that right there. Hey, Jean, how are you? Okay, one more and then we are all done. And we have to put the sign on. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, there you go. We'll do the we'll do something for your cat wreath, a bow or something, yep. Okay, 
today. little pumpkin here. Oops. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's everything. Let me zoom out a little bit there. Get this stuff out of our way. Clean up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You know, Pat, you should get one of those, um, the four and the one. They're, e they're, they're easier to use. Okay, so now that we have all that done, now we just need to put our sign on. Okay. All right. Oh, awesome. <laughs> you have a Probo that you can sell her? You're funny. Kathy, you are too funny. All right. So the sign comes with, yeah, it is a good Halloween bin. The sign comes with this wire on it, okay? I'm going to um, cut that off because we don't need to use that. All right. And, but we, we can use the little hooks that are on there. since they're there, and that way we don't have to, um, well, hey, Kathy, bring it down with, with you to Myrtle Beach. Okay, so we'll use those little hooks there, okay? It keeps stopping? Ugh. All right, so let's get this out of the way. All right, and then we will, oh no, hot glue on my mat. I don't want hot glue on my mat. Okay. Does anyone, is it say that for anyone else? Maybe it's just you. <laughs> okay, so since the sign is a little thin, where are my pieces at? Here we go and I don't want to go through the sign, what I do is I cut pieces of popsicle sticks, sticks up, okay, so that it doesn't go through the sign. And I'm just going to put one down here. <laughs> you didn't say that three times. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put one right there. didn't go through the sign, so that's good. Your jinx. <laughs> hey, Linda, how are you? It's just you, Kathy, just you. Okay, and then we will find a place on here that we want to put the sign. I almost hate to put a sign on it because it looks so cute. We're going to put it right there. You are special. And I'm going to feed it right through the mesh. Okay. Find a spot through the mesh. Feed it right through there. Let's see. Okay. Move it through here. <clears throat> and I want it to go under this so it's not on top of that. Flip it over. 
And now remember, I always try to find crossbars. So there is a crossbar we're going to use. Remember, you don't want to pull it tight because you don't want to pull your sign down into your wreath, okay? You want it to sit on top of your wreath. There's another crossbar we were able to find, so I'm going to pull it through there. You can always tighten it up, but you don't want to pull it tight to start out with because you don't want it to sink down into your wreath. A lot of people have trouble with their signs, and I think it's because they try to do it too tight and then it, it'll sink down into there. Okay, you can always tighten it up, move it, like this one needs to be pulled up a little bit, so we'll do that. Bring it up here. And then we're gonna tighten this other one a little bit because it's a little loose but I'd rather be too loose to start out with and have to tighten it than too tight and it being pulled down into the wreath. Okay, so let's see how tight we want it. We just want to slide it up a little bit. That's better. Okay. All right, and then you just want to give your wreath a good shake. Make sure nothing's moving around there. I'm going to pull my pumpkins out. Fix my ribbons. Get this pumpkin out from underneath there. Pop this one out from underneath there. Move it around. Pull this one out. Well, thank you, Carolyn. Up a little bit. And like I said, I do still have four of these signs left in my shop. If anybody wants some of them, they're only seven dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. Hey, Alyssa, how are you? Okay. That's for the sign. I know. I was just thinking the same thing, Pat. I'm like, man, everyone's quiet tonight. All right. I am making this fall wreath right here. Okay. And like I said, you just kind of want to shake it, make sure nothing's moving around. And everything looks really good. Move your ribbons around. And it's looking perfect. Okay. And there you go. There is a nice, cute. And it's still, like even though I used a 12 inch frame to start with, right, it still from side to side comes out to be, you know, from edge to edge, 21 inches. So it's about 21 inches around. So really it doesn't end up being that much smaller than if you use a, um, you know, when you use a 14 inch, it would probably come out to be about 22, 23 inches right so it's not really that much smaller but the sign doesn't look dwarfed in the wreath when you make it in a little just a little bit smaller of a frame so that's a good tip for you guys yeah I know I have to pull the leaves out they're stuck in there that's why I'm still still working with it here Okay. 
and these leaves are stuck underneath here. Yeah. Because there's you see all leaves here. You, you need to see more leaves over here. So there we go. That's better. There we go. That's better. Much better. That's what I want to do. Oh, you can always go back and watch the replay. I like that even better. Let me pull it out. Okay. All right, guys. That's it for me for tonight. You can catch me again Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to like, follow, and share, please. And if you're in my group, I will see you all tomorrow night. Thank you so much, guys. What is the embellishment on the mesh? Oh, this is a, um, thanks, Kathy. This is a snowball mesh. I know, isn't that pretty? <coughs> and it brings out the, I don't know if you guys can see that, it brings out the black and the white on the sign. Alright guys, have a wonderful evening. We'll see you on Thursday. Bye!